Kaya Jones and I'll be presenting the cutting rod problem and how to solve it with a dynamic program approach. So to introduce the problem real quick, we're given a rod of n, an array containing the price of the rod at lengths that are less than or equal to n. And our goal is to find the maximum profit that can be earned with the different combinations of lengths that are less than or equal to n. For example, we're given a rod that's equal to 4, and an array that would have this table listed out, and we would try to figure out, okay, so at what value, or what what's the maximum price we can get? And so here it's pretty simple to figure out that if you're given two two-inch rods, then you would get uh, $8, and that's going to be your maximum value earned, versus $7, or if you combine one and three, that's $5, All right? And so the brute force method of solving it, the most straightforward is just to check every possible combination and compare them to each other, and then you return your maximum value. Uh, there is a slight issue with that, though, is the time complexity of this is going to be exponential at 0, 02 to the nth. Um, here's a sample code of the recursion. Um, and notice how the, the recursion right over here, you could probably break this down into a smaller problem and that's where the dynamic prob um, program method is going to be used. So why are we using dynamic program? Because one, it has an optimal substructure that we can create a recursion um, to make that really large problem into a smaller piece by piece problem. And then two, we have that optimal sub problem where we have all um, these problems recurring over and over again. For example, zero, one, and two are occurring multiple times when the rod size is four and it would keep going on maybe four or five or six or whatever, right? So with using this method, your time complexity just went from being exponential to quadratic, which is a lot more efficient. So to kind of break down the steps here, um, we're gonna use the same example from earlier, um, rod length that size is four and we're given this array. And so, this table over here is going to be essentially storing what our array is going to be. The and so we have the rod cut, that's 1. And the price value is 1. And uh, we're going to have plus rod cut 0. And 0 is coming from 1 minus 1 equals 0. And so because, you know, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and we don't want to go over that boundary, and so the value is going to be $1. So then we're going to store that over here. Next, we're going to go to 2. And so you're going to have the combination price 1 plus 1 or 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. So you're going to have right code 1. So you're going to call 1 two times. So 1 plus 1. Then you have $2. So you're going to put, you have the option of possibly $2. Now you have price two that we're gonna call, which is four dollars, and then plus two minus zero, or sorry, two minus two, which is equal to zero. So you're gonna have four dollars is because you have four plus zero is equal to four. And so then you're gonna store the four into the table. And you continue doing that with three. Um and you're gonna use these values once again. Notice here how we're gonna be using values that are from this table and not from this table over here. And then with four again, and you can see now that our largest value is going to be $8, and we're going to print the $8 right here. And then when it's time, so we're going to call for the length of 4, our maximum profit is going to be $8. So a pseudocode for this is right here, and essentially you'll just have, your, have an array that would store your already calculated problem, and then you would recall it over and over again and you compare them to each other right here and you would then get your max value and then once you go through this whole um, whole loop then you're going to return what the value is at that end spot and that is how you solve the rod cutting pro problem using a dynamic program approach and here are some references that were used to um, to help me with this project thank you